to another Absurd Heroine video. So we're playing Sealed War of the Spark. So if you wanted to take a look and see at the deck build was last video, we created something spicy, <laughs> which is just a stupid deck because I'm not creative, a stupid deck name because I'm not creative. And it's basically just uh, proliferate, lots of proliferate green white. So it's, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. I think it's pretty good. I think we, we might at least break even. Let's hope that we get to uh, to five wins to break even. Wait, is it five or six? It's six to break even. Maybe we won't get to six then. My guess is that we'll probably get to five, but we'll see how it goes. I haven't actually played Proliferate yet. So hopefully it is good. Hopefully it is good. And if you enjoy me talking a lot during my deck building process and teaching you how I go through the deck building process. Hold on, I have to change this. Let's move this up a bit. Okay. If you like the deck building process, being very explanative, expl uh, lots of explanation of why I choose what cards I choose and why I like the cards I like, um, let me know in the comments. And if you don't, then also let me know. If you think that it's stupid and garbage, let me know and I'll not, and I'll not do that anymore. Anyway, so... What are we gonna do here? We've got a Paradise Druid, we've got our Snare Spinner. Yeah, so this is a good this is a good hand. We've got lands and we can cast everything that we, we've drawn. We've got some creatures, we've got some removal. He's good. La Rune Enforcer. Okay. Let's just get out a land. We drew a Trusted Pegasus, which is good. Man, music is so intense, what? This guy's name is also amazing, Golden Netbeard. This is a bad card, bad. <laughs> okay, let's just bring out a Snare Spinner so that he can't attack us, basically. I mean, he can tap us if he wants, but whatever. What else? So he is also green-white. It's the color of the hour. Green, white, black. I see. I see, I see. So I think we might just want to grow our board. So we'll just Trusted Pegasus to make the most out of our mana. The next turn we can Paradise Druid, keeping up a Divine Arrow or something maybe. I don't think he's going to want to attack us. Okay. So we're probably just going to attack with a Pegasus. He might tap it. Which looks like that's what he's going to do here. Yes, okay, so no attacks. Let's just build the board up even more. Let's do Paradise Druid. And War Screecher. We don't have any of our proliferate yet, which is kind of weird. Let's see, what do we want to draw? I mean, a, a Johnny. <laughs> that would be okay with me. I'd be totally cool with drawing in a Johnny or a Yugen at this point, because I think we could cast it with our Paradise Druid and our Forest in hand. Pledge of Unity would also be really good. Okay, Spark Reaper. All right, land is not what we want to see though. So. We'll just attack. He's going to tap our Pegasus again. But we'll attack with this guy. Oops, no. Next. First blood. First blood, baby. Bring out our Lynx. Let's see, what are board wipes in this set? I don't think there's any in green, black. Well, I mean, no, that's not true. There's Masca Girl. Masker Girl would wipe us. Yes, it would. But it would also wipe him for the most part. Another Spark Reaper. Alright. I'm guessing at this point it's just like a body on the board. Okay, we do not want to be drawing lands right now. I mean, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Let's see if he blocks our trusted Pegasus. I mean... Taps our, tar our trusted Pegasus. He does, okay. So, 
How about we just... I mean, do we want to get in with the links now? Okay, we're just... We're just both sitting here like dorks. And we're just going to attack with our worst creature. We have our divine arrow just waiting here. Sitting here waiting. I mean, we're not in a bad position. We just need more stuff. We need like a proliferate. We need like a pollen bright druid and some of our proliferate stuff. Crawl. Crawl stinger. All right, more dudes. Hmm. I mean, I guess so, because if we draw our Pledge of Unity, like, it's pretty powerful, you know? But until we get something that can break the stalemate, we're just kind of sitting here. Oh, did we not attack? We didn't attack. Damn it. That was stupid of me. Got him on an 18 turn clock. There it is. Okay. So what are we going to do here? I think we're just going to attack with this guy for now. This is still a problem for him. And later, if we get more proliferate or we can get some of our removal, we can attack with more. I actually might attack with a Pouncing Lynx next turn. Ooh, Death Sprout. That sucks. I think I will attack with a Pouncing Lynx ne next turn. He'll have to double block it if he wants to kill it. And uh, we have a Divine Arrow, so... You know, that's good. Mm hmm. Let's attack with the links. Let's get in there. It's got first strike, baby. We might be able to two for one him here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good. Yes, we can. So now we divine arrow. This one. Get rid of some stuff. There's so many good things that we could draw. So hopefully we draw them. Any of our proliferate stuff. Just so long as we don't draw land. We don't want land. That's like basically all we don't want. We have another Pegasus that we could draw. Prison Realm would be great because I get the freaking law, law rune enforcer. Another grizzly? Oh no, not another grizzly. He's just using it. Any whiffed. What is this? Look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature or planeswalker, you may reveal it and put it in your hand. If you don't, put it in the bottom. Okay. Hmm. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. It's actually kind of not what we want for our links. Do we want to attack again with the links? No. You know what? We could just start attacking with our snare spinners. If we have Whatley out. So let's do that. We shall forge a path to victory. And we'll just use her so that we don't have to deal with uh, attacking with these paradise, because it's, uh, it's detrimental to our paradise druid and our lynx. So if we use her, she'll die fairly quickly. I mean, if they even want to kill her. Maybe they just want to keep her up because they don't care. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm okay with that. Clear the board a bit. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. Gain some life. Now we can just get in. Although, with Whatley out, the Pouncing Lynx doesn't get past the Grizzly. But our Paradise Druid does. And we don't need our Paradise Druid anymore, so. 
We just need to draw proliferate or something. There are so many good things that we could draw. We just need to draw them. Okay, so he's probably going to tap our Pegasus again. Yeah. Resolve. And we're just going to attack with everything, because Gideon's Triumph. It will, uh, this is going to be two for winning us. But, um, I don't really mind, honestly. Oh, wait, you know what? I didn't realize that this was an instant. Oh, thank goodness. I just, I realized just in time. <laughs> Sack that grizzly. So now Huatli's actually detrimental to us. But whatever. It's like the two creatures that we have whose toughness is not stronger than their power. Alright. Johnny would be great. Mo would be great. Any and all these things. That is not going to save you. That, however... Share in my strength. Dang it. Okay. Well, I guess we're not attacking. Watley is definitely not good for us right now. We could kill Jang Yu. Sacrifice a creature to kill him? I think that's doable. Let's do it. Let's get out of here, Mowu. All right. We need to not be drawing lands at this point. We're getting a little flooded. There are so many good options that we could be drawing and we're not drawing them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shriek Diver. All right. Okay. Just give him tons of haste, just all the haste. All right. Okay. Here we go. Get that out of here. Go away. I think it's so very annoying. Submit three. All right. Go, my pretty. And if we proliferate one more time, then we can kill Huatli. If we want to at that point. I mean, maybe we'll draw some of the other stuff that makes Huatli good, but... I don't know. Watley was not very good for us. I mean, it was good for us with the spiders. Those spiders kind of cleared the boar out, which is great. But that's kind of like the best creature that we have for for her. Yeah. Another trusted Pegasus, huh? All right. All right then. Okay. I think that was not the smartest move in the world. Ugh, we're just drawing lands. That's not good. Because now we can get in. No more lands. No more lands. We just want... Do we put too many lands in this deck? Hmm. I don't think so. Polymer Druid. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. No, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. He wants to get in with a big fat Pegasus. Okay, he's not. That's good. Okay, great. All right. We're in a top decking wars. So long as we don't draw land, we should be good. What we would love to draw is a Johnny. Crawl Stinger, okay. I don't think we can attack yet. Still gonna wait. Tolstomy are friend to wolves. Ooh. Okay. Mowu. Interesting. Interesting choice. 
not what we want to be seeing. Let's get something other than lands here, people, please. Do we want to attack? Do we want to attack? No. Because he could just block his pe our Pegasus with his Pegasus. And then whatever it is that we decide to attack with. Well, maybe if we attacked with a Pouncing Lynx, then he'd have to double block. Ooh. Oh, man. For real. Come on. All right. I think we might actually... We might actually do this. Just to get in with our Lynx. And it looks like he is double blocking the Lynx. Which is the dumbest thing he could ever do. I have no idea why he's doing this. Oh, wait. Oh. Sorry, I thought it was the other way. So he's, okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. That's not the dumbest thing in the world. Okay, that's actually pretty smart. Because now we can get in for seven. So he's, I'm on a, I'm on a four turn clock, three turn clock with a opportunist. I just need to draw something good here. So yeah, I probably shouldn't have attacked there. I should have just waited to draw something good. Oh, Parhelion, no way. Oh, that would have been useful earlier. Uh, do I want to attack with it? Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, so let's draw a card. Uh, mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, ca we'll cast it. But honestly, it doesn't even really matter because he if he got his Parkelion out before we drew anything that could kill stuff, then it doesn't really matter. He would have just destroyed us anyway. He got his Parhelion. Parhelion 2 wins games. And the game just went on for so long, we got flooded out that he's able to cast this freaking thing. Like, look at that thing. Flying First Strike Vigilance. Yeah. Now he's gonna make a ton of angels and he's just gonna destroy my face. So yeah, I made some mistakes, but honestly, we just got flooded out. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Yeah, Parhelion. Ouch. Prison Realm, you are a wee bit too late. You are one turn too late, Prison Realm. One turn too late. That's too bad. Maybe we should take our Hwatley out. I mean, we were we were on the field with our only two creatures that that Hwatley becomes a detriment to instead of being beneficial. Okay, we'll keep this. We got some removal. We got our Iron Bully, a Pollen Drake. Pollen Bright Druid and the mana to cast everything, so that's good. It's good, it's good. Ah, okay. That is also good. Hmm. So let's. What should we do here? Let's put a plus one, plus one counter on the spinner. Or the bully, not the spinner. Iron bully. Putting the counter here. Get in. We can courage in a crisis. And then pollen bright druid by and proliferate with pollen bright. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, no. No blocks. Excuse me. Okay, in this case, uh, what are we going to do? I think we still do Courage in a Crisis. No. We're going to Pollen Bright, targeting the Iron Bully. 
And then we will Carge in the Crisis targeting Palm Bright Druid. That'll get the most plus one plus one counters out of it. Mono black, it looks like. Show. No blocks. Ooh. Probably gonna take the courage. I mean, maybe not. Okay. It's pretty good. Should we courage on a crisis? The trusted Pegasus. I think that would be too slow because we wouldn't. We'd have to wait until next turn. I think we're just gonna do this. So that gets in for a lot right now. And then next turn we can trust Pegasus. It's got evasion, so like it's not a really big deal that it doesn't have a plus one plus one counter on it or two plus one plus one counters on it for that case. In that case. Not doing anything? He must have removal of some sort. Herald of the Dread Horde. Okay. So we'll bring out our Pegasus. And we'll just Iron Bully. Keep him back. Our Polymite Druid to, to uh, block stuff if we have to. Can't be blocked by creatures with power 4 or greater, so we don't have any of those. Sacrifice. What do we want to sacrifice? Hmm, that's a good question. What do we want to sacrifice? I guess our pollen bright root. Okay. No blocks. So we'll attack in for seven. This is dangerous, because if they have removal, we're dead. But if they don't have removal, then we're alive. This guy has a lot of removal. He's just mono black, huh? That's pretty impressive. Or maybe he's not, and he just is out of land. Okay. Can you get rid of both of my creatures? The other needs to... He needs to kill? I don't know. Okay. Oh, we were gonna get a Johnny next. <laughs> okay. Are you like, ah, they might attack my planeswalker? <laughs> no. That was close. Ooh. You don't see this guy very much. Laziv, I think, is his name. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep this. This is a cute hand. It's got our stray, a pollen by druid. We'll give him a plus one plus one counter. All right, Lane, okay. Do we want to give it a plus one plus one counter or a war screecher a plus one plus one counter? Probably our screecher, to be honest with you. Because of the evasion. Yeah, let's do that. And who knows, we might get more plus one plus one stuff that will make us want to uh, proliferate instead of put a counter, okay? So let's... Uh, I guess Pegasus. Let's attack first. Attack with you. Lamb. Pegasus. Now we can get in with all four of our creatures. Um, four. Three. I can count. Yes. Three. There are three creatures on our side of the field. No blocks. Okay, Huatli. See, now, now Huatli is good. So we're, we'll do Huatli. I shall wield this power for good. Let's see. And we'll just attack with everything. Get in as much as possible. End turn. They might just attack her, which is great. 
I'm okay with that. So they are attacking Huali, okay. That's good. This will not diminish the cause at all. So they do have black, so they might cruelty something. Obnixilis's cruelty. Spark Harvest. Okay. Okay. So, what do we do here? Why don't we put a plus one plus one counter on our Screecher? Get in for four. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit the microphone. So if they attack Quatly, I don't really care. I don't care if they attack Quatly at all. Ooh, that's good though. Okay. No blocks. No more of this. Ooh. This is great. This is great. Okay, so next turn, if they don't kill the war screecher, we should be good. Obnixilis? Ooh, yeah, they're gonna be able to kill it. Darn it. Okay. Okay, he's gonna kill Johnny and get something back. Return target creature or planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand. That stinks. Dang it, Obnixilis. Dang you. Okay, let's see. Wow, that's a lot of forests in a row. That is very frustrating. We'll double block. We can't, we don't, we definitely don't want that going on. If he wants to kill another one of our creatures, then we draw two. Hopefully it's not two lands. We have to find a removal for this guy, though. He's gonna... Well, actually, there's no more creatures in his graveyard. Okay. Okay. Try not to <laughs> Knowledge is not without pride. Ah. For real. Dang. Gosh darn. This guy's got a good deck. Okay, Arlen. Um, I kind of want another creature, but I guess it's not going to matter. That's too bad. Okay. So hopefully, oh man, I don't even know. What do we want to draw now, Ugin? I guess Ugin. I don't think we want to attack here. Well, he might block with his amass creature. I don't want him amassing anymore. Okay. Interesting block. That means that he does have more mass. Oh, you know what it is? He's going to get it back. He's going to get it back with the Lich. I've... I haven't fought against this Lich very often, so I didn't realize that, but that's totally a thing that he's going to do. But it's not like that great for him, right? He can't... Do I care about him getting the Pollen Bright Druid back? Do I care about that? I don't think so. Yep. I don't want to lose my snare spinner. Okay. Hmm. So we need a flyer. We need another trusted plate Pegasus. Or our Ugin would be great. Our Ugin would be great. Let's just draw him. Can we just draw him, please? Okay. 
are the dreams of the dark. Try not to think too hard. Okay. Um, so what? Can we cast both? We can't cast both. Okay. So what do we want to do? Exile a creature, then proliferate. Probably his dread horde, huh? No attacks. This is tough. This is a tough one, everybody. This is a tough one. Okay, I don't think he, yeah, he doesn't want to attack her. He wants to attack me, and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna kill this thing. Because I don't want him to amass anymore. This does open the way for him to attack me. Yeah. Dang, that is not what we want to be drawing. But we can, we can kill our Huatli if we want to. Gain life. Maybe that's what we should be doing right now, actually. Just to be safe. And he's got, you know, a mana dump this late in the game. This is really important. Hopefully he just whiffs. Please whiff. He did whiff. Oh, thank God. <laughs> he whiffed. That's really funny. All right, we're not going to block that just yet. We're going to hope for a proliferate or something. We got a Pegasus. Okay. Uh, so we just have to survive this turn. Can we survive this turn? He will want to attack us with everything. Right? We can, we can survive this turn. We can survive this turn. I don't think there's anything that he can do. Right? No. If he attacks with these two, we'll have to block one. Whoa. He whiffed again. <laughs> he whiffed again. Okay. So, we, okay, okay. So he just killed himself. Like, this is really good. <laughs> just block here. Okay, good, we won. If he did not do that, if he didn't attack with everything, then we would have died. Interesting that it gave me the option to do that. Attack that one. Okay. Yeah, so <coughs> if he didn't attack with everything and he kept that back a blocker, we could very well, we wouldn't have been able to win that turn. I mean, we did draw the unity, which was really good. So perhaps that's not true, but anyway. Anyway, whew, that was close. That was a close one. So this video has already been going on for a really long time. I might split this up, honestly. Steel Avian. Hmm. I mean, we got our Johnny. That's like really nice, but we need to draw lands. I hate keeping two landers. They're like my least favorite type of land. But we can cast a ball and bridge it. I don't know. I don't know. If we just get one more land, though, it's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. This is a shady keep, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. Alright, there's one. We need... We need a, a white mana here. Yes. Okay. We're actually gonna do Lynx, and then we'll Pollen Bright the Lynx. Or maybe we'll bully the lynx? Okay, so he's flyers. Looks like mono white flyers. Okay, great. That's, whew, thank goodness. Okay, so we'll bully the lynx. And attack. And we'll just keep on... We'll just keep on proliferating. We'll pollen bright druid... The Iron Bully. 
Hopefully we draw something that costs two or less. Gideon's trying for something. Showa? No? Keep me back. Interesting. Interesting. Guggen's Conjurant. Okay. So let's... What should we do here? Let's Pollen Bright Druid. Here. And stray. No attacks. Next turn we can a Johnny and then courage in a crisis the turn after that. That's a lot. Ow. But we got Gideon's Triumph, which is great. Do we want to? All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack. with everything. We're not going to bring our Ajani out um, because I don't want him to just die right away to the Conjurant. How many lands do we have? We have four. So we'll just Gideon's Triumph. Next turn. I think that's kind of the best thing that we can do. Because if we put Johnny out, he would just die. I don't want that to happen. Pass. He is. He does get to choose which one in this case. Uh, the, um, the Conjurant or the Pegasus. And my guess is that he's going to choose to sacrifice the Pegasus. Because the Conjurant is actually really good. But the Conjurant won't be able to get in without the Pegasus, so. Oh, interesting. Okay, great. So now, we have Johnny. Honor and, courage. and I think I'm just gonna gain life here for now. Because I don't want him to die. The next turn, we can... Courage in a, we can uh, minus him and then courage in a crisis. And if we draw a land, we can trust with Pegasus and courage in a crisis. Oh my god. Just imagine what that must feel like. Okay. Lots of flyers. If he attacks here, I pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Okay. He's not attacking everyone. With everyone, I should say. So we're gonna minus him. And then put a plus one plus one counter on this guy. And then attack with everything. No, just those two. Just those two still. I don't want his griffin to kill my dude. Yep. Doesn't matter. But Johnny is strong. But Johnny is strong. Jomri. You rules are for what? What did he say rules were for? So he has actually three color. Very interesting. All right, so he's gonna kill a Johnny, whatever. Doesn't matter, unless he has a way of wiping us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Domri. Okay, cool, great, we won, hooray! All right, so we're at three wins now, I think. This, this video has been going on for a really long time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start splitting these up into more. So the construction video is one, this video is now another video, and then I'll do the last, but uh, the last until we die, <laughs> until we lose, or until we win everything in the last video. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video then. Bye! <laughs>
Thank you.